r slash r scredit by redmond detes what is the pettiest reason you can't date someone wasn't my pettiness but a girl i went on a few dates with wouldn't date me because she wanted to be the artistic one in the relationship and she was worried that me being a musician would spoil that for her edit wasn't real deep into it it was just a couple of dates i don't feel negatively toward her she was a nice enough person lol also, music isn't my career, more of a passionate hobby. I work in IT by day. My boss's daughter's ex-boyfriend broke up with her, because they had a Dyson and he said he wouldn't be able to keep up with her extravagant lifestyle. She had the same name as my mom. She had the same first name and last name as my grandpa. His last name was Fister. I had a guy break up with me in high school because God told him to. I was like oh okay guess I can't argue with that one. She insisted on hanging out at home. She lived with like 6 people, and they always had friends over. I felt like a boyfriend extra on Friends or Seinfeld. She ate pizza with her hands. No, not like you think. She would scoop up the toppings in a messy pile and like her animal. Claw them up and eat them then rip the bread and eat it. We were at a fancy Italian place and I got horrified. My wife once told me she couldn't be with someone who wasn't around the same level of intelligence as she. I have no idea how I'm going to keep it a secret that I'm a freaking idiot the rest of our lives. He ate with closed fists around his utensils like a toddler and his face right up to his food like someone was going to steal it. Sounds like an ex-con more than anything else. I broke up with a pretty hot girl when I was younger because she didn't swing her arms when she walked. It just looked weird and reminded me of a gorilla. Really stupid reason I know, but it just looked so stupid and I couldn't overcome it. She had a large tattoo of a half zombie girl on her back. When doing her from behind that it feel like the tattoo's eyes were on me the whole time and it gave me the creeps, it's one of the very few moments where I felt like I needed to make up an excuse to peace out. It was hard as f actively trying not to lose my erection when that happened, so no regrets about weaseling my way out. You want petty? I'm from Seattle and a girl I dated was from a couple towns over but not that far. She pronounced espresso espresso and that was the start of a fast ending. Another girl I dated in college, after a few dates too many, I realized she wrote the number 8 in two strokes, like an O on top of another O, and that again was the start of a fast ending. Bonus pettiness 3. A girl who wears sketches. Maybe not in the 2020s but in the 90s and 2000s no freaking way and I know many people who agree. This one, unlike the two above, is a more general sentiment. I don't know what it is but both things just put them in a weird like that I couldn't unsee after that. Only went on one date but he named his cat Creamy, and the way he said it grossed me out. Live laugh love style home decor. White spittle gathering at the edge of the mouth. I can forgive or overlook a lot of things, but that's an instant turn off. Edit, every day is a school day. Apparently this can be a sign of dehydration or linked to another condition I've seen called angular chelitis. My grandparents were very southern. When I was a kid, I spent the night at their house and heard them. Wrestling. I heard my grandpa say my grandma's name, Sarah, but with his accent he said, you Sarah. I met a girl named Sarah who was also southern. When she introduced herself as Sarah I had to know about. It just gave me the heebie-jeebies. I didn't like the way she ate a grilled cheese sandwich. There were more reasons, but this was the deal breaker. How did she eat it? To at the time. Like putting them on each other and making a super grilled cheese sandwich and then a lot of mayonnaise and then eating it. And then laughing with a stuffed mouth when I made a funny comment about it, so I could see what a grinded grilled cheese looked like. So also finished it before I ate my one grilled cheese. She had the feminine version of my name and that's just too cute see. Choose with their mouth open. He wore fake glasses and didn't like vegetables. She talks to people like they're a hundred meter away from her. I am broke. They are deathly allergic to nuts. The idea of never having Nutella or Snickers again. 
or risk killing my partner with a kiss, is too much. Minions. Really hit it off and couldn't look past the love of minions. Can't stand them. Inability to form a coherent sentence in text. Interstar signs and the like. To the point of being reminded what sign you are, which somehow has an effect of who you and your personality trace lol. I instantly noped out of an otherwise fine blind date when she ordered apple juice off menu at a fancy restaurant. 19 year old me only knew apple juice as a toddler's drink, and I just couldn't get past it. I'm no longer that petty. But I did make the mistake of mentioning this to my wife once, many years ago. And she now makes a habit of ordering apple juice whenever we're at a fancy restaurant, just to see if I squirm. I can't date anyone with lip injections. It felt super unnatural kissing her. Like kissing a baboon with rigor mortis. People that like to debate too much. I'm all for having your own opinion but when someone thinks they have to be the devil's advocate constantly? No thanks. If their Instagram is nothing but selfies, especially if they're striking the same pose in every shot. I had a match like that and it honestly creeped me out. Or the same facial expression in every pic. That creeps me out big time. She did that thing with her voice where every sentence she said ended with a question mark. Follow up. Since so many people have asked, she was not Australian. She's American. Having dated too, I now have a no nurses rule. Loud person. No. I hate it. If they're super into Disney stuff, it creeps me out for some reason. Weird ears. I've also quit a therapist over this. Eyes too far apart. All I could think about was Sid from my Sage. Too much gum showing when they smile. Like a little is okay, but if I can all the way to the roof of your mouth. I can't get over it. Also smokers. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more? Have a nice evening.